to Math Alive. Our topic for today is prime factorization. Let us first define the important terms that we will use in this lesson. First, factors. Two or more numbers multiplied together to give a product. Example, the number 12. If you multiply 3 times 4, it gives you the number 12. So, 3 and 4 are factors of 12. Or 2 times 6, it also gives you 12. Or 1 times 12. Because you can factor a number by 1 and itself. Another term is prime number. A prime number is a number greater than 1 which has no other factors except 1 and itself. Example of a prime number is the number 2. If you try to factor 2, there are no other factors except 1 and 2. Also, the number 3. It has no other factors except 1 and 3. Another term is composite number. A composite number which has factors other than 1 and itself. So examples are the number 12, 15, 21, 25, 27, and so on. As long as you can factor it with more than two factors. Now, let's go to the sieve of Eratosthenes. We will try to get the prime numbers between 1 and 31 from these numbers. Eratosthenes was an ancient mathematician who used this method to get the prime numbers between 1 and a given number. First, you encircle the first four prime numbers. So we have already 2, 3, then 5, and 7. Next, we cross out all the numbers divisible by 2. So we have all the even numbers. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. Next, we cross out all the numbers divisible by 3. So, we have 9, 15, 21, 27, and 30 is already crossed out. Then, we cross out all the numbers divisible by 5. Most of them are already crossed out except 25. And lastly, we cross out all the numbers divisible by 7. And it is in this line. They are all crossed out. Therefore, all the leftover numbers which were not crossed out except 1, because 1 is a special number, all the other leftovers are prime numbers. So we have 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, and 31. These are the prime numbers between 1 and 31. Now, note that 0 and 1 are special numbers. They are neither prime nor composite. And 1 is a factor of every number. Now, how do we apply or use prime factorization? First, uh, we can apply it to get the lowest terms of a certain fraction. But let us first express the following numbers as a product of prime factors. The number 28 can be factored as 7 times 4 or 7 times 2 squared. 
the number 65 is 5 times 13. The number 70 is 10 times 7. And 10 is still factorable. So you have 2 times 5 times 7. And the number 48 is you have 16 times 3. And 16 can be factored as 2 to the 4 times 3. Now, let's get the lowest terms of the following fractions. 28 is 7 times 2 times 2. And 70 is 2 times 5 times 7. All the numbers which are common between the numerator and the denominator are cancelled out. So we have 2 over 2 over 5 as our lowest terms. Then 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. And 48 is 2 to the 4th or let's uh, expand that. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 so that we can cancel very clearly. And since all the numbers in the numerator were cancelled, it's not a zero, it's equivalent to one. Because all the numbers that were cancelled out is equal to one. So there is one in the numerator, and we have 4 in the denominator. So the lowest terms of this fraction is 1 4. And lastly, we have 65 over 70. 65 is 5 times 13. And 70 is 2 times 5 times 7. So we cancel out the 5 and we have... 13 over 14. So, this is a very practical application of prime factorization. And that's all for this video. I hope that this has been helpful to you. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel by clicking the button below. Thanks for watching.